Hey guys, hopping right into it. Today I'm going to show you how I tame my mane. I start off with this Briogeo Farewell Frizz Cream. I love this stuff. Um, I haven't used a different heat protectant in a while, but this is my go-to heat protectant. I love the texture of it. I feel like it does a really, really great job. My hair's grown really long since I've started using it, and I love this stuff. Next, I brush out my hair with a gentle round brush. Um, I use the Revlon One Step Volumizer, and I've read some reviews that say that it's um, caused breakage in their hair, but what I do is I brush my hair thoroughly before I go in with the Revlon One Step because it does put a lot of tension on your hair to really give you a nice sleek blowout. So I recommend that you brush your hair thoroughly before you start using it. Then I go in with the Revlon One Step. This brush is amazing. I honestly, the blowout it gives you is astonishing. Um, I'll go in with different directions until it completely, completely dries. So I'll go front, underneath, uh, front again because I want to get those little baby hairs. And um, once it's pretty much dry, I'll go through and twirl my finger like that because, um, you know, when you go get go to the salon and they give you a blowout, they leave the brush in and they kind of twirl it. I feel like that really smooths the cuticle down and gives you a nice blowout type of, type of look. So I'll go through and I'll do that little finger shadoodle with my hair. Once that's all dry, I let the next layer down and then I'll repeat the same steps. So brushing it through, making sure that there aren't any tangles and then going through with the blow dryer. Honestly, props to whoever created this blow dryer because I could never get a blowout like this at home before. Uh, every time I get my hair done at the salon, I'd always think like, what is this hairstylist bench press 500 pounds? Because when I do this at home, my arm is dying. But this blow dryer just makes it so, so easy. Finally, letting the top, top, top layer down. This is where I concentrate or like try the hardest, <laughs> I guess, right in my um bang pieces and then I'll just bring that all forward get nice and warm and frustrated with all the hair in my face and then if I feel anything is a little bit too wavy I'll go through those pieces again and this kind of gives you a little bit more volume right um right around your face that only took like 10 minutes I love that blow dryer so much I leave my hair straight like this a lot of the times but if you have wavy frizzy hair you know the difference it makes when you blow out your hair before you put the waves and the curls in there. So now busting out the curling iron. Girl, I needed a break before, before I started this. So I got some coffee and I recharged my batteries. But taking the curling iron, I'm not even opening the clamp. I just wrap my hair around it and I'll hold it for like five to 10 seconds. I want it to be loosey goosey because I want to keep the length. If you hold it for too long, your curl is going to be too tight and then your length is going to disappear. So really being careless with it. I don't want the bottom pieces to be too tight or too precise um, because again, I want to keep that length. Just making sure that all the curls are going away from my face. Laying that second part down, I'm basically going to find all the parts in my hair that contribute to my length and then repeat the same step. So brushing it out and then going around, wrapping it around the curling iron, being kind of careless, loosey goosey. Now that I'm closer to my face, I'm gonna be a little bit more careful, wrapping it around just like the same way I did with the other parts of my hair, but I'm going to catch it in the palm of my hand and then I'm going to clip it up with a clip and that's the clutch part. It's going to give you a more defined type of curl. I only do a few pieces like this, maybe five of them, but it really, really does make a difference and it'll last longer in your hair. So again, wrapping it, catching it in my hand, and if you drop it, not a big deal, just like finagle it with your fingers and make it back into a curl. Clip. Now in the front, I part my hair to the side and to the middle. I couldn't really decide. So I kind of just do one big guy in the center and I let all that cool down for about minimum of five minutes. Now that we're all nice and cool, I start letting these pieces down and you can just see the difference with this kind of a curl versus the ones that we did without um, the pinning. This is where I'll start to brush it out with my fingers. I wouldn't recommend using a brush or else you'll lose way too much of the curl. But if you like hairspray, I recommend hairspraying before you go through with your fingers. 
this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found this useful and I will see you next time. Bye.